Florida's coral reefs draw thousands of tourists each year. They provide homes for sea life and they help protect the coastline from dangerous storm surge. But as we've been reporting, our coral reefs are in danger of extinction, partially due to climate change. We're investigating what's being done to reverse that. In tonight's forecasting change, Eric Sandoval shows us how Disney, SeaWorld and other groups are celebrating four years of getting results. You're looking at a Key West sunrise. OK, it's not Key West, but it is the closest that researchers here at the Florida Coral Rescue Center in Orlando could get to replicating what all of these coral are used to in the ocean. Everybody needs to be working together to be able to accomplish this uh, Herculean goal that we need to do to try to save coral reefs. Dr. Andy Stamper has been here since the beginning. They're incredibly important uh, for Florida. News 6 first introduced you to Disney's conservation science manager soon after the Coral Center first opened. Take a look at what the coral looked like then and see what they look like now. Eric, looking in this tank, you can really see that the corals in the last four years since we've opened have really thrived. They've done an yeah. amazing job of growing. They're, uh, they're, they're propagating, they're reproducing. Which is what they're um, supposed to which do. Which is exactly what we wanted to see, yes. SeaWorld's Justin Zimmerman says the coral have grown about 48% larger and faster than they would have in the ocean. He says they've also helped save an endangered species of coral. Because at sea, coral face three deadly threats. A bacterial infection called stony coral tissue disease, water polluted by humans, and rising ocean temperatures. You can see the red color in South Florida here. That is where the water temperature off Key Largo reached 101 degrees last summer. With the swab, we'll run some bacterial cultures. Dr. Claire Erlocker-Reed is the coral veterinarian here at the Rescue Center. You can see the tissue, which is right there, in relation to the skeleton, which is right there. She uses an ultrasound and tissue samples to make sure that these coral continue to thrive for another four years and longer. That coral gets a clean bill of health. So the work behind these doors is going to continue. Congress just approved new funding that's being divvied up as we speak. The Florida State Legislature approved even more. And now these scientists are hoping that they can save the coral reefs before it's too late. In Orlando, Eric Sandoval, Getting Results, News 6. You can see the evolution of the Florida Coral Rescue Center, including more about the new funding and SeaWorld's new rescue exhibit. Just head to clickorlando.com slash forecasting change. So good to see all mm. of that progress. Yes. Mm.